What's up, you guys? Avery here, and welcome to my second place. Thank God I did not get my ass beat in the parking lot. Mystic Mine Troll deck profile. Now, the reason why I'm profiling this, even though it was only a locals, is because it was five rounds of nothing but meta, and um, I was actually really impressed that I went four and one, only losing to Sword Soul, getting two owed because I bricked. So, other than that, really, the deck performed fantastically, and I wanted to show it off, especially since, too, I thought it was the new format with Imperial Order banned, and Imperial Order was still legal, because my dumbass forgot that February 7th hadn't happened yet, and it was only February 4th yesterday. So, be sure you smash every lame crap out of that subscribe button and the like button. We're at 644 subscribers. Let us get to 1,000 subscribers. So, let's go ahead and profile this. It's a 40 card main deck. Uh, it was five rounds. Like I said, round one was Sword Soul. He didn't feel like digging for Imperial Order game one, so he ended up scooping. We ended up 2 owing him. Round two, Sword Soul. Again, we uh, bricked ourselves, and then we got 2 owed. Round three, we played against Dragon Link, and we 2 owed him. Round four, we played against Dogmatic of Flunderies, 2 owed him. Round five, we went to three games, winning game one and three against Phantom Knight Adventure. And uh, it was it was fantastic. That was my only three game match of the night, and uh, it worked out great. Ended up winning. Um, was able to get Goddess Gold and Cauldron established, and proceeded to win from there. I didn't even really have Mystic Mine on the board for most of the game, so the the deck worked out great. It drew consistently, and I was really pleased with it. So let's go ahead and start off with the monsters here. You're still just playing your four two Planet Pathfinder and two Wobby. Um, they did what they need to do. Um, Pathfinder, I think I used only once, and Wabi I used once, and it got Book of Mooned after two turns. Um, combos well with Goddess Skull. Just be sure that you use this first before you use Goddess Skull's effect, or else then you're locked into special summoning only fairies, and then you can't give them the sign of Wabi. So that's really all the monsters that you need. For the spells, we're playing three copies of Pot of Duality, three copies of the Expensive Pot of Prosperity, and two copies of Pot of Extravagance. Now, don't get deterred just because I am playing three Prosperity. If you looked at the last profile, you'll know that I was actually originally playing two, but I really like being able to have a choice of one out of six instead of just drawing two random cards. If you don't have Prosperities, you can play three extra and three Duality, and play like an upstart in a one day of peace or a one day of peace in a magical mallet, uh, card of demise. I've even seen builds playing card destruction, left arm offering. Like, there's a lot of different cards that you could play. So, don't feel like that you can't play this deck or be deterred just because I'm playing prosperities. If you can afford prosperities, definitely play them because th this, this helped out so much. Like, this got ashed once, and then I was able to follow up with like a prosperity on the next turn or like a duality. Uh, I got drolled twice in the Phantom Knight uh, match, game one and three. Um, so that does hurt if you're not able to get these off because of a hand trap or what have you, but they're just so, so, so good. You, you've got to be able to play these if you can afford them. And then continuing on, we're still main decking the three Dark Ruler as well as main decking the Harfie's Feather Duster. Um, these cards, if you know in the last profile I was talking about, you kind of have to play Dark Ruler because you want to have an out game one if you end up going second losing the die roll, and you also want to be able to have out to back row. And it was funny because I forgot that I was main decking this against the Dogmatic of Flunderies guy. In game two, he set up Apex Avion and Mpin with the Unexplored Wind, and I ended up uh, going into my opening hand after side decking evenly matches Keeping in the Dark Ruler No More, and I opened with Dark Ruler No More, I was able to shut off his monsters, get Mystic Mind established. A couple turns later, I drew into Feather Duster, and I was able to pop the Unexplored Wind. And I already had Goddess Skull established to control what he drew, so that he couldn't get a high level to tribute off my Mystic Mind. So I really liked how these cards performed. Um, I was I was really happy with it. And it's funny, too, because as I said, I forgot that it was still the old format, and I was literally only playing this because I wanted to playtest uh, because my dad wasn't able to come out to Locals last night, so I was just playtesting this for him, and it just worked out really well. And then we're playing three copies of Goddess Skull. This is like a negate. I was going back and forth on two or three, and I'm just going to stick with three because of the fact that... Um, it essentially acts like a negate, and if you're going first and you play this, the opponent's essentially playing with a five-card hand. Plus, if you're able to get your board established, the opponent playing with five cards in their hand compared to you having a couple negates set up is just so good. This card is just so, so amazing. And then we're playing three copies of the Mystic Mind. you got to play three. Three copies of Demise of the Land, three copies of Field Barrier, and one copy of Terraforming. Something funny with Demise of the Land happened where uh, I was playing against the Dragon Link guy and it's game two. He had made DP the turn before, popped it off with something, or used its effect to pop and then popped something else. 
Um, oh, because I had played evenly matched. Uh, so anyway, he draws for turn on the follow-up, reveals it off of Dasher's effect, special summons it in his draw phase. It, I trigger the Demise of the Land, getting out Mystic Mind. He goes, okay, well then DP is going to come out and pop it. I'm like, no, Mystic Mind's already established. And he did the same thing in game one, but instead what happened when he summoned out DP, I went Demise of the Land, and he went, yeah, that's fine. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. He's not going to pop. So then I bring out the Mystic Mind, and he goes, Oh, okay, DP pop. I'm like, no, you can't. It, it's it's already established. You should have popped the demise of the land. <laughs> so it's like you gotta understand how cards work, folks. Um, yeah, that was that was very delicious. And then for our win cons, we're playing one final countdown and two cauldron. Um, I was originally playing three cauldron. I've seen builds playing wave motion. As I've said before, you shouldn't be playing wave motion because it's a bucket of garbage, in my humble opinion. Um, final countdown. I got up to turn eleven against the Dragon League player game two, and then cauldron was already gonna burn him for game anyway uh, on the follow up so it really only would have gotten to 12 turns um but yeah this is just good because since we're playing one copy of curse seal you can ditch it off a of curse seal for a spell negate the opponent has like cyclone or lightning storms um you can also use it as just a backup win con if for some reason cauldron doesn't work out and then you just count down the 20 turns if you're about to go to time then you can side deck this out for something else uh in like game three or something if you're going to be going first and then you've got the cauldron to so just gain life points and burn the opponent uh in time so uh final countdown i Really didn't mind having it. It was pretty good. Now for the tracks, we're playing three Dark Bride, three Solemn Judgment, one Metaverse, and then one Curse Seal. I love this card. This card is so broken. Um, yeah, pretty pretty standard uh, trap lineup. And then the extra deck is just a bucket of trash. We're playing Verte with no targets because we're going to be like that. It's literally just any 15 cards you want or just 15 targets for Waking the Dragons um, since you can also side deck Waking the Dragons in this deck. Um, and then for the side deck, we are playing two copies of Lightning Storm. If you have three, play three. With the new format having three Raigeki, you can play three Raigeki. That works too. Uh, and then we're playing one copy of Sphere Mode and two copies of Lava Golem. I prepared this side deck just for my locals. It's kind of just a mishmash of stuff. If my opponent really wanted to pop off with stuff, then we could Sphere Mode 3 or we could just Lava 2. Uh, I did that in Game 2, the game I lost in the Phantom Knight Adventure match, um, where he had a token and Griffin Rider set up, and I just Lava Gold him so that I could get rid of the Draco back. Draco back is really tough for this deck to deal with. Uh, and then we're playing three copies of Evenly Matched. These came in all the time. One copy of Macro, never sided it. The second Curse Seal, I sided once, it didn't come up. One copy of Raigeki, because we don't have a third Lightning Storm. One D Fisher, because I don't like your graveyard. And then three copies of Cosmic Cyclone, which did come in at one point. And at one point, I just side decked one, just to have a 40th card in my, my deck, is really what it was. Um, so, guys, really, that's it for the deck. I Like I said, I didn't get my ass beat in the parking lot, so, you know, that's, that's always a plus. Um, people were salty. I apologized, and um, you know, I was playtesting this deck just to see how it was going to be for the new format, not even realizing that it was still old format. <laughs> so, please, guys, let me know what you think about this build in the comments below. Let me know how it could be better. Are you ready to kick my ass or sucker punch me in the face? I mean, I wouldn't blame you, pimp. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.